This world ain't right, won't accept it Negative energy, I expect it Once it's in your mind, it's infectious So fight for your life and reject it You better give me space, I'm protective My adrenaline spikes when I'm threatened And if you stay in my way, I'm aggressive Cause when there's no legs, it'll kill when I'm desperate doesn't resonate check your sun moon rising venus jupiter and north node all right you guys if it doesn't resonate please make sure you understand that it, it does go vice versa all right energy is interchangeable so it, the roles can be reversed all right um i do have a little announcement i have i have entered a contest you guys this contest means a lot to me if you guys can go to the community tab at leo sun pisces moon all right on youtube it's leo sun pisces moon um, you guys can vote once a day there. It means so much to me, you guys. This will, this will allow me to fund my project to help save the lives of children. So if you guys want to vote every day, it means the world. Once again, oh my God, you have no idea. Like the, it, it does show your name. So if you guys do vote, your names will pop up, all right? So I'll keep track of that and make note of it. Um, but yes, you can vote once a day, every 24 hours, once a day, okay? Um, and stick around, you guys. I do have some free personal readings. Everyone's going to get three. Yay! You're going to get three free personal readings, you guys. I'll tell you how to do that in a moment, but for now, let's jump into What's your up, reading. Pisces? I got the chili willies. Oh my God, it's freaking cold. Hope you guys are all staying warm <laughs> wherever you are. Let's jump into your reading, Pisces. I hope you guys are all doing well. What was that? What was that? What was that? We have the temperance card. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, Pisces, are you worried about something? Okay, Pisces, you're worried about something. Um, it's going to work out in your favor. Okay, we have the temperance card here. That's the energy coming towards you. Also, like, I don't know, like, for this, usually I get the energy, like, with the energy coming towards you, I always get, like, this is the energy you're embodying since you have to embody the energy that's coming towards you, right? In order for you to attract what you want, you have to embody it. I feel like if you're calling on your angels right now, or if you're not calling on your angels, I'm hearing if you're not calling on them, I feel like you're letting something go here. I think like something is going to happen, Pisces. Have you guys been practicing that... Um, affirmation it's not really an affirmation it's more of a like a yeah pisces something you are okay yeah it's a money manifestation thing okay so like you guys okay so if you're saying okay wow <laughs> you seeing two 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 if you got leo in your chart go check out that reading okay um what i'm actually getting we're gonna get into this hold on one second let me just pull all the cards out wow you got a lot of reversals yeah, something you're getting, I'm hearing a wish is granted, but you think that it's not going to happen. This is something that you forgot about, that you just decided to let go. I'm going to move on. I'm just, you know what? I'm not going to get my hopes up anymore. Something, it, this could be like, I'm hearing two years ago, something you thought like two years ago, you were like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. I see you guys, something happening here, like where you guys feel like, I don't know, I'm hearing you're going to have a what the fuck moment. I thought that was done. I thought this was over. Yeah, you walked, You completely walked away from something. For some of you, this is a divine counterpart. We got the lovers here and then the eight of cups. Okay, for some of you, it is a divine counterpart with the ten of cups and how they feel about you and the star card in the reverse. This person is like, oh my God, I don't want to say that, but this person is watching you. All right, Pisces. Um, if, if this is a love interest, okay, we're going to talk about the money, but I feel like this is about the love interest specifically for someone who's dying to hear about this. Okay. Somebody is really eager to find out what's going on with this love interest because they have not heard from this person in two freaking years. Two freaking years, Pisces. Um, I'm hearing it's an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, specifically a Taurus or Virgo, all right? Because you have the Six of Pentacles mirroring the King of Pentacles. So, and, the, and they're both in the reverse and that's how you're being seen. I just feel like you're just walking away from someone or you just left something behind here because you thought it was a missed opportunity. Yeah, with the Four of Cups, you thought it was a missed opportunity. This is something that had you very indecisive with the Two of Swords. Yeah, this is like you making it, like in the Two of Swords, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> the Two of Swords is like indecisiveness, right? It's in the reverse though. It's like you guys made a decision. You decided 
it's I feel like too the decision you made it was hard you guys didn't want to make that decision you didn't want to like leave this person behind but I feel like you did the eight of cups is like walking away right so this is definitely about a twin flame for somebody here very specific you left this behind or the ideology itself you didn't leave this person physically maybe but you may may have just decided to stop thinking about them or stop reading about it or stop watching readings about it yeah I feel like it's gonna come oh my god I just heard Michael Jackson. You knocked me out. You know you did. <laughs> is that Michael Jackson? Yeah. You knocked me out. Okay. I think that is. Is it? A Virgo? Oh, you got Virgo in your chart? Exalted? Wait, no. Not not Virgo. Um, You have Virgo in your chart, but I feel like you have Taurus Exalted. Or you have um, Vir um Leo or Aquarius. I'm trying to think of the signs that are exalted, that have exalted placements. I know Leo does. Um, Scorpio. Chase, okay. So, oh my God, I'm trying to think of the houses though, like where they're exalted at. Um, Princess Swords. Princess of Swords in reverse though. Yeah. Okay, so whatever it is you thought you left behind, I feel like it's going to sneak up on you, Pis Pisces. All right? You have the three, three of pentacles mirroring. In the obstacle position, this could be also someone you used to work with, okay? This person could have told you, like, I am your twin, and I feel like it scared you a little bit, Pisces. You have not seen this person in two years, but what's funny is you cannot stop thinking about them. Yeah, you have two, oh my gosh, okay, geez, all right, you have the threes, you have two, th you have two threes, you have the lovers, and then you have the two of swords. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me right now? This is crazy. I feel like you guys are going to come into union with somebody. There's going to be a celebration here. Three of cups. You guys are going to be with this person. The angels, they're like laughing. I I just hear little giggles. I, what is going on over here? Okay, so like I hear the angels. Like this is the angel. I'm saying like your angels or your ancestors or somebody, someone on the other side of... Pisces, you you know who this is. This is a figure. This is someone who's who has a very strong influence on you. Okay, this is someone who passed away maybe a couple years ago. This is an ancestor who's. I'm saying this is an ancestor, a Scorpio, who's giggling. This they're so get. They're so giggly. Why are they laughing so much? A Scorpio. It's a Scorpio. They could be watching this reading right now. This person, if this is you and you're giggling and you're watching this reading, you're giggling a lot. It's like, I can I can literally hear you giggling. <laughs> and what's crazy is like when you watch this reading, I'm not even going to be here. I'm going to be, think about that. Isn't that crazy? I'm going to be somewhere else. I'm probably, probably, I'm, when you're, what the time you watch this reading, I'm probably going to be cooking dinner for my kids. Think about that. Like how am I hearing you giggle? That's so weird. Pisces, you have like, you're really tapped in. You know who this is. You know who this is on the other side. You know there's something going on. There's something fishy. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> Pisces, you're like, you forgot about someone. You like totally stopped worrying about something. And I think like it's going to resurface. Something is going to resurface here. Okay. I'm also saying you find money in your jeans. Someone's going to find money in their jeans. They're going to find money like, um, you know how like you do your laundry? Oh, Pisces. You're going to find like a hundred bucks in your jeans. What? And you're going to be like, yes. <laughs> okay. So, okay. Yeah. Something you thought you for like you lost, maybe you forgot about. Um, I see you guys finding it, okay? But the star card too in the reverse with the position in the position of how they feel about you. If you're dealing with another person, someone, if this is not your energy, I feel like someone is like, Pisces doesn't care about me. Someone's like really sad, Pisces. <laughs> oh, I'm not laughing at their sadness. I'm laughing because it's kind of like the guy who's about to propose to his girlfriend but all week long he was treating her like crap so she has no idea she's like is he gonna break up with me Ugh. snot bubbles coming out of her nose and shit dude low-key he's planning this whole party like around her and i don't know like i'm getting this vibe like someone is being sneaky here like your ancestors or you or oh my god 
the right side. My ear on my right side just went out. Did you guys hear that? It sounded like a chime. It went bing. So the left side is the masculine side. Or no, feminine side. Right side is the masculine. So it's a masculine. They don't have to be um, okay. All right. Okay. If it's a female, she's a fire sign. All right. If it's a female, it's a fire sign, Pisces. What? My ear. Oh my God, it's tripping. <laughs> if it's a male, it's an air sign or an earth sign. Okay. That's what they're telling me. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But if it's a if it's a female, I'm hearing it's a Leo for someone very specifically. Um, or Scorpio, a water sign. Okay, Sagittarius. So they could be born on the cusp, but they're, you know, I don't really consider cusp. Um, they're not, yeah, I don't believe in cusp, but yeah, I, I'm seeing like um, someone who's born like right on the cusp, you know, the 21st, the 22nd, like the 20th, I'm hearing. They like right on the cusp, okay. 20th, 21st. Okay, so we're, yeah, Sagittarius, Sagittarius and Scorpio. Yeah, I just had that ringing in my ear and it really just, it just, they wanted me to start over, which is weird. So this person's really like sad right now, Pisces. Someone is really sad. They hear everything. They hear your name. They hear your voice. They have dreams about you. There goes the ringing again. There goes the ringing again. And then my ear just got really hot. I hope I'm not coming down with something. That's so weird. It just ran and I was like, bing. And then my hearing went out for a brief second. Maybe it's like an omen. Maybe you're not listening. You're not listening, Pisces. You're tuning someone out. Yeah, that's why. Because this person's, oh my God. I feel like you're just trying to avoid someone. Why are you avoiding this person? They're spying on you. I want you to know that they are spying on you. Like they are looking at your profile. They're going through your pictures. They're, they are trying. I'm hearing too. They're even trying to hear the sound of your voice. Like if you have left a voice message on this person's phone, they replay that shit all the time. Whenever they get a moment, they're like, okay, I got a moment. I'm going to go listen to my voicemail. <laughs> they're like, um, like Pisces, your voice is like angelic. They love your voice. Um, this person could be a Pisces moon. I heard they have Gemini in their chart. Okay, Gemini, Gemini, Gemini crickets. <laughs> I always think of Gemini cricket when I think of them. Okay, I don't know why, Gemini. Yeah, you could be seeing the synchronicities too. Like the number 444, so all about protection, right? Um, 333, Ascended Masters, 1111, it's a portal. It's literally a portal opening between this gate and the next. Okay, I'm hearing the gate, the golden gate. So San Francisco, is that the Golden is that Golden Gate Bridge? Yeah. I don't know why they call it Golden Gate Bridge when the freaking bridge is freaking red. <laughs> I always wonder that. I'm like, why do they call it that? It's not even fucking gold. What's going on there? <laughs> isn't it red? I think it's red, isn't it? Okay, 222. Two, two. The color red could be significant. The color gold. Oh, they're telling you to wear red and gold. Power colors, okay. Black, red, and gold. You could be the only one with like a fire sign. So Aries, I know we're Aries or Leo, okay. But man, I just said like all the signs. <laughs> Aquarius is here, Taurus is here. A lot of Taurian energy, a lot of um, like Virgo is here, okay. I see Scorpionic energy here. Then we have Sagittarius. Oh my God, are you serious right now? Okay, have you guys ever seen Lady and the Tramp? You know the little cats? <laughs> I don't like those two cats. They're the only cats I do not like in the whole world. <laughs> we are Siamese, if you please. Yeah, I'm hearing something about twins, you guys. We are Siamese, if you don't please. But um boom boom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
yo this could be your twin flame like i feel like this is your twin no matter what like you're this is your twin no matter if you like it or not oh pisces we are siamese if you please but um bum bum we are siamese if you don't please da -da -da -da. <laughs> Uh, this person is like obsessed with you. That's what I'm getting. And it could be a Scorpio for sure. Um, they could be a Scorpio. Um, they could have like eighth house Neptune or they could be just um, very intense. It's, they don't have to be a Scorpio, but the energy is very intense. And we are moving into Scorpio. We are in Scorpio season. What's today? The 21st? Am I recording this on the 21st? Hold on. <gasps> Today's the 23rd. We are in Scorpio season. Happy birthday, Scorpio. Oh my God. I'll probably do them next. Okay. Um, if you're watching Scorpio, I'm going to do you guys next. I'll probably do your reading tomorrow, okay? Um, happy birthday. Yeah, the energy is very, very... Gosh, you could find out who your twin is in Scorpio season. You know, Scorpio season rules hidden truths. Um, it could even talk about hidden, enemy, hidden enemies along with Pisces season, you know? Um, those, those, as we move down closer to those zodiacs, to that... Down the zodiac wheel, it's it becomes more hidden. Things become more hidden. But I feel like, yeah, this season you're gonna find out a lot of things that you may not want to know about, but it's like for your own good, Pisces. Okay. But I'm also getting like somebody who you've completely tuned out. This person is trying to reach you. And if they're not reaching you in the physical, in the physical realm, they are trying to reach you in the three, they're trying to reach you in the 5D. Okay, because they know that you have access. Like you have an all access pass, Pisces. <laughs> You're all up in that bitch, like day and night. Okay. But this person is like really trying to get through to you. I feel like you, they may have scared you though. Like they're so intense. They may have told you something and you're like, okay. Or this was you, Pisces. Oh my God. <laughs> if a Pisces ever tells you that shit, you better listen. Okay, because I feel like this person is like, it, it, it sounds like it might have been you that said it. Like, we're twins. And this person is like, what? You're crazy. Pisces, you're crazy. They think, they're think they always telling you you're crazy, Pisces. Geminis and Pisces always get a bad rep, right? Because you guys are so out there. <laughs> I don't give a damn. Like, if you don't believe me, that's cool. Like, I don't know why I'm getting, like, you are just, you just get downloads. You just have, people want logic from you, but they're not going to get that. Cause you just know things you're like i don't know i just know and people don't believe you they think you're out of your mind you're delusional it's like bitch i know though but the thing is i just know you could have aquarius placements aquarius is i know yours is i believe it's like it, you can't really go against those two my those two catchphrases those two catchphrases are unstoppable you know if you believe something to be true nine times out of ten pisces is true right I feel like you have the capability of like the ability to make others believe in what you're believing in without saying it. You know, I feel like this person is probably realizing it after you have gone away. So maybe you told them something a while back, like two years ago, I'm hearing. And they just like ghosted you, Pisces. And now they're regretting it. And you're like, OK with it now. You're like, oh, well, I'm moving on. <laughs> and you're living your life. This person is spying on you. I know. Right. Go figure the irony. They're watching you and they're the ones who walked away. Um, yeah, I'm hearing, we are Siamese, if you please. Like, whether you like it or not, this is what it is. Like, I don't know, I'm just, I just keep hearing that. Somebody's avoiding you or you could be avoiding someone now that really wants to come back in. It's really giving me that runner chaser dynamic. It really is. And I know like, <sighs> yeah, because the, the Eight of Cups is like someone completely moved on here. And then this this obstacle position, the spying. Someone is Google searching to see if you're online. They want to see like, like it's been such a long time since they've seen you. Maybe you even got a new profile. Maybe you deleted your old profile, or maybe you have like a business now, like online. And this person is searching, and they're they're really like, I see their jaw on the floor. Like this person is obsessed. Like oh my god, the more they find out, the more obsessed they get because they're like, oh my god, Pisces is really doing their thing right now. Damn, she's really doing her fucking thing. Or or he's really doing his thing. Like, damn, I'm so proud of him. I feel like this person is proud of you. It's really strange. Um, but this person is not really doing well financially, okay? And oh, but the Ten of Cups, yeah, it's in the position position of how they feel about you with this the star card. Um, because because they feel like they have no access to you, they're losing hope, Pisces. Okay, they do, they feel like they're losing hope, but you are this person's wish fulfillment. 
This is like someone's wish fulfillment. Um, I also see the solar plexus when I look at this. Like the heart chakra, I see it. The happiness and everything. The star. It's the star. I, I wrote all over it so you can barely see it. But there's a star in the center. And I don't know why I'm getting like vitality. Like this is the 10, right? It's like two fives. Leo energy. I know this water, but um, I, love is the cups, right? Um, I, I see the solar plexus when I look at that. And then the star card, I also see Leo. So you could be dealing with a Leo. They really, really love you. Whoever this is, they really, really love you. Okay, we have Aquarius here. The reason, um, those of you who don't know, like I know you guys know, but um, if you're new to the channel, um, when I, I know you're going to say, oh, the star card is Aquarius, it's not Leo. But when I see the card, I always think of Leo because Leo is ruled by the sun. And the sun is also a star. So that's why I always see that. So anyways, I love you guys. Um, Pisces, I love you. You're going to get a bonus reading. If, you know, if you still, if you're still in first place, make sure you guys comment. Make sure you guys are keeping that, keeping your rank, okay? Make sure you're commenting, you're liking, you guys. That's how you keep your, your videos in rank. And make sure you're liking your other videos. Um, you're watching your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus, your Jupiter, your north node. Make sure you're commenting on those videos as well because... If you want to see those in the top three, get those likes up. Get those comments up, you guys. I love you so much. You guys, check out your free personal readings. They are the second, third, and fourth link. All right? And the voting booth is open now, I believe. It should be open by the time you guys see this video. Check out that. Please support that, you guys. It means everything to me. I really want to do this. This means... Like, I, I, I've been putting on putting this on hold for far too long, and I need to do this now. So, you guys, if you want to support that, I will see your names pop up, you guys. If you guys go vote, you can vote once a day every 24 hours. I'll see your names. I'll make a note of it, you guys. But please keep me in the first place, you guys. I hope you guys do. It means everything to me, and I really want to change the world. I can't do it without your help, you guys. I really want to make a difference, an impact. It's on my heart, baby. It's in my... It's in my... It's in my it's my birthright, all right? I love you guys. You guys have a wonderful weekend. Namaste.